Shimi said, with Namibia producing ammonia through hydrogen, it would lessen the issue of importing ammonia and create employment. He added that this new industry does not come without challenges, noting that skills development is a major challenge. But training and know-how creation takes time. Um, while we are, we are training and, uh, and, 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 and building skills, it, it's also important to allow foreign ex experts to come in, train Namibians, otherwise you will no, never be able to transfer that knowledge because knowledge, know-how is learned by doing from somebody who knows. Shimi further added that the Parliamentary Standing Committee will engage the responsible policy makers to discuss how they can further nurture this new green hydrogen industry. The Clean Energy Development Committee member, Ike Kraft, during his presentation at a site visit, said one of their main focus is providing skills training. If you really want to work from school children to the NEMS, the TVETS, to cooperation with the universities, UNAM, etc., to really bring knowledge into the system. I mean, we've already had quite a lot of training courses. We had suppliers here that bring, the, for example, the compressor. So it's the area of, of specialities. So we ask them to make training courses. Kraft also announced the corporation's plans on building a locomotive train that will run entirely on hydrogen. We've been built in South Africa. We are in discussions with Transnamib. The next year, I think it's around March, I believe, we bring the locomotive here and we want to cooperate with Transnamib to test it on the route from here to Vinto hydrogen uh, and locomotive, with the hydrogen being supplied from this side, because there is no other side producing hydrogen. Clean Energy Solutions Namibia was founded in 2021 and is a joint venture between Old Harvard and List Group and CMB Tech. The company opened Africa's first public hydrogen refueling station in Wolfish Bay and is planning a 50 billion green ammonia plant in Arandes to position Namibia as a clean energy hub.